in today's video, we're going to be revisiting dominoes and we're going to focus on how to stack them in various ways. If you want to learn more ideas on how to work with your child in new and fun ways, then check out the rest of this video to learn more. Hi mamas, I'm Amy, pediatric occupational therapist and founder of PlayAB and I'm here to provide you with some playful solutions and powerful results. Now you may already be familiar with me if you are subscribed to this channel. If not, this is your time to do it. Please do so. Like this video, share your comments, all that good stuff really helps me to help you. Today I want to revisit the use of dominoes. If you haven't seen my recent video on dominoes, please go back and watch it. I'm gonna put the link up above so that you can check it out. It really is great to use dominoes to work on developing skills when it comes to drawing and grasping a marker. So if you need to work on those types of skills, dominoes is a really fun way to do it. Don't forget to check out that video. Recently, I started working with dominoes more and more and more with my patients through teletherapy. And I noticed that one child in particular really loves his dominoes. As soon as I get on the screen, he wants to pull them out. While we were playing together, I noticed that he started stacking them on his own. And I didn't even get to show him that yet. And I thought, oh, Amy, I can't believe you forgot to tell people how awesome domino stacking is. So I thought I'd create a video just for that. There's many different ways to stack dominoes and they are great tool for you to use to work on fine motor skills. And it's so much fun that kids have no idea that you're working on these amazing skills. This is really important because these are part of our foundational skills that kids use to work on building and understanding the concept of building. This really helps them when they get older and want to play other games building online, such as Minecraft and other games that are super popular now. If you use the concept in this video, you are going to be working with your child in many different ways to improve their skills. So we're going to talk about six different ways for you to stack dominoes. In this video, we are going to be using a standard set of 28 dominoes. I want you to know that because there are many different opportunities for you to play with tons of dominoes. And I want you to understand that if you just have a simple set, you can do any of these activities. What I love about dominoes, in particular ones that are gonna be featured in this video, is that they are super durable. They can be knocked around, dropped, thrown across the room, and they are not going to break. These particular activities are going to start out easier and get progressively harder. And I tell you that because I want you to think about your child's age. The beginning ones might be okay for an older preschool age, but as you get to the more advanced stages in this video, you're going to see that this may be for children who are in early elementary school or older because it requires a lot more skill and patience to complete the activity. Let's get started and have some fun. The first activity we're gonna to do today is called the single stack. The idea behind this is that you're just going to stack up your pieces right on top of each other. Just the same as if you are building blocks, right? You're just gonna stack one on top of the other and just see how high you can get it to go. Sometimes it's nice to have like a little bit of a competitive nature when you're doing this type of thing. Maybe you wanna challenge yourselves and see who can build the biggest tower. Now, if you're just playing with one child and you're the parent, you know, you might wanna not be too much showing off. Maybe let them win a little bit sometimes. Number two is going to be the double stack. Now, what's great about dominoes is that they all have the exact same measurement. They can be stacked on top of each other where you have two next to each other and two on top of each other in alternate patterns and they measure perfectly on top. Now, this is similar to if you were playing Jenga, but instead you can't pull those pieces out, right? They're just gonna topple over. But it's a nice way to, for you to work on stacking. Just demonstrate for them that this takes some time and that you have to really slowly place those blocks right on top of each other. One of the things you wanna keep in mind when you're working with your child is if this activity is getting too easy, you can always make it more challenging by having them use one hand instead of both hands. 
those were our two easier activities. Next, we're going to go into the skyscraper. What you're doing is you are now building on top of the dominoes and working on balancing them even more so. You can make this go as high as you can based on how many dominoes you have. We're going to stack them up and on top of each other. Yes! You did it! Now we are going to create a line. A line is used in domino stacking so that you can create a connection to your stack and make it fall. You're going to place your dominoes in a line even distance apart with space enough so that when the dominoes fall, they automatically knock down the next domino. A line of at least 10 is a good number to practice. We are going to be using this technique in the next activities as well. So make sure you practice knocking them over. Now we are going to make a tower. When you make a tower, you're going to place two dominoes on the bottom, and then the next two dominoes are going to be placed on top in the opposite direction. You are going to do this pattern stacking up to about 10 stories with two dominoes counting as one story each. The reason why you want to do 10 stories is because it is a good number to create the fall when you connect your dominoes line. In order to do that though, you really need to create a little bit of an angle on the bottom of the tower. That is going to make it more effective when you knock it over. The last one we're going to create is a wall. The wall is much more complicated. We are going to do a small wall with only five dominoes on the bottom for the set of 28 dominoes. So you're going to set your five bottom ones and then you're going to keep stacking, creating an alternate pattern as you climb up your wall. You have to make sure that you have even dominoes in order to stack them. So there will be some that you stack vertically. If you follow the picture video time lapse, you will be able to follow along. Just for fun, I want to show you what it looks like when you assemble two sets of dominoes to create an even larger wall. This wall has seven dominoes across the bottom, and you can see that I just keep stacking them up. These activities are great skills for your child to develop not only fine motor skills, but also patience and direction following and visual perceptual skills. There's all kinds of benefits to playing these types of games. They are very helpful in particular for what we call visual motor skills. This is the idea of using our eye and hand coordination to build blocks. When children are developing, one of the ways that we measure their progress is to know how well they are building blocks. Did you like this video? I hope that you did. I know that I love playing dominoes and I'm sure you can tell. Well, I wanna make sure that you do too. So if you like this video and you felt like it was helpful to you, please like it down below. Subscribe to this channel and leave a comment. It helps me to know what you really enjoy and what I should bring more to this channel. Until the next video, I hope you have a playful day.